Okay, so let's look at an application of simultaneous equations for UV vis spectroscopy. So if I have an absorption spectrum of a pure compound, A in this case, and if I know the absorption at any wavelength, I can work out the extinction coefficient, how well it absorbs at that wavelength, once I know the concentration, according to the Beer-Lambert law, A is equal to epsilon CL, where epsilon is the extinction coefficient. I can do the same at any wavelength. So here I've uh, schematically shown the absorption at 300 and the absorption at 500, just two wavelengths. Um, in this case, there's the two maximum wavelengths. If I have a second compound B, again I can find the extinction coefficients at these wavelengths by measuring the absorbance and knowing the concentration of B in my solution. But now if I have a mixture of A and B where I don't know the concentration of A and I don't know the concentration of B, I can use simultaneous equations to find out the concentration of A and B in this mixture. Because assuming A and B don't interact in any way, we can say that the absorption of, at 300 is equal to the absorption due to A at 300 plus the absorption due to B at 300. And the absorption at 500 is equal to the absorption due to A at 500 plus the absorption due to B at 500. And note here, I'm only choosing 300 and 500 just as an example. You can choose any two wavelengths where both compounds absorb. Let's look at an example. So we have two unknowns here. We have the concentration of A and the concentration of B in a mixture. And we have two pieces of information, the absorbance of 300 and the absorbance of 500. The particular example is that we're told that the absorbance of 300 is 0.35 for the mixture and the absorbance of 500 is 0.23. We're given the extinction coefficients of these wavelengths calculated from the Beer-Lambert law for the pure compounds, and we want to know what's the concentration of A and B in the mixture. So, we can use this idea of saying that the absorption of A at 300 is equal to the, excuse me, the absorption of 300 is equal to the absorption of A at 300 plus the absorption of B at 300. So I'm just writing this out in a more formal way using the Beer-Lambert law. And the absorption of 500 is equal to the absorption of A at 500 plus the absorption of B at 500. We can assume that L, the path length, is equal to 1 centimetre, assuming here that our um, extinction coefficients will have units dm um, moles per dm cubed per centimetre. And um, we're going to, I'm going to say that the, the concentration of A is equal to X and the concentration of B is equal to Y. So I can now put in my values. So my absorption at 300, I'm told that's 0.35, that's equal to the extinction coefficient of A at 300, from the table that's 80, times the concentration of A, that's X, that's 80X, plus the extinction coefficient of B at 300, that's 150, times the concentration of B, that's Y, so it's 150Y, and the same for A at 500. I now have two simultaneous equations, 0.35 uh, is equal to 80X plus 150Y, I'm going to solve this by elimination, so I'm going to match up the um, y value. So here I'm multiplying the absorption of 500 across by 1.5, so both my y values are 150y. If I subtract the second equation from the first, I get 0 0.005 is equal to 2x. So x, which is the concentration of A, is 2.5 by 10 to the minus 3 molar, in other words 0 0.005 divided by 2. And now when I substitute back in for y, I get a value of 1 by 10 to the minus 3 molar. I've got two significant figures here across the, uh, the, the numbers I have, so I'm quoting my answers to two significant figures.